The first commonly confused words are affect with an A and effect with an E. Affect is always a verb and it means to influence, whereas effect can be a verb but is most often a noun that means the result. So in terms of affect, you might say something like, how does population growth affect us? For effect, you might say, what are the effects of population so growth? So as you can see in that first sentence, how does population growth affect us? It's used as a verb, it's an action word. And in the second sentence, effect is a noun. What are the effects of population growth? The next commonly confused words are through and through. T-H-R-E-W is the past tense of throw. T-H-R-O-U-G-H means passing from one side of something to the other or a period of time. So we would say the ball went through the strike zone, T-H-R-O-U-G-H. -H. Or we would say Nolan Ryan threw more strikeouts, T-H-R-E-W. Next we have the words accept with an A and accept with an E. The verb accept means to receive, so it's as if we're accepting something. The preposition accept means other than. So in the verb form, we'd say Melissa graciously accepted defeat. She received defeat. And in the preposition form, we'd say all the boys except Zach were here, so he's the only one who wasn't. Next we have van, T-H-A-N, and then, T-H-E-N. Van with an A-N is used in a comparison, so we would say, he cried and said that his big brother was bigger than my big brother. T-H-E-N tells us when, so we'd say, then I cried. The last commonly confused words we're going to talk about today are who and whom. Who is used as the subject in a sentence, so who ordered this pizza? Whom is used after a preposition. So for example, the pizza was ordered by whom? And prepositions are, are some of those words that are right next to me, to, from, for, by. So we might say the pizza was ordered for whom, or the pizza was from whom. 